Hello friends. Today we are going to learn how to upload code or reprogram your Sonoff Wi-Fi switch. For this we need a Sonoff Wi-Fi device. We need a USB to TTL adapter and here I am using a CP2102 adapter. We need a jumper wire, a female to female jumper wire which is going to be used to connect the CP2102 adapter with the son of uh, Wi-Fi switch. All right, so first we need to do some software setup. So let's get into that. For working with the code and uploading the code, we use the Arduino ID. To download the Arduino ID, navigate to the Arduino website. The link to this website I have given in my blog post, as you can see in the description. Scroll down to find the downloads for the installer depending on which operating system that you use whether it be Windows, Mac or Linux you can download the appropriate installers. In my case I am using Mac so I click on Mac installer. Now in order to make a donation to the people who are maintaining the software you can choose your appropriate donation or you can just download the installer. Once you have downloaded the software, it's a regular installation setup and once you complete the setup, reboot your system and open up the Arduino IDE. Once you have Arduino installed, you can click on New, File New to open a new sketch. You can paste the code that you want to upload. You can go to, uh, in case of Windows, it will be File Preferences. Here at Mac, it's under Arduino Preferences. And in the Ad Manage Additional Boards URL, you can copy paste this particular URL. I've given this in my blog post. Click OK. Go to Tools, Board, Boards Manager. Search for ESP8266. So you'll find ESP8266 by ESP8266 Community. Here and click Install. Here I've already installed it. So let me go back. Okay, Tools menu again board and you'll find uh, the ESP8266 modules select generic ESP8266 module go to tools menu again flash mode select D out tools menu again flash size select 1m no space or 1m 64k space here for this particular code, I'll just select one megabyte, no space. The rest of the uh, menu items are defaults and you can verify them against the blog post defaults that I have given. All right, so let's move on to the next step. Before we connect our USB to TTL adapter to the system, we need to install its driver. As I had mentioned earlier, we use CP2102 adapter. And here we have to navigate to the Silicon Labs website. And the link to this website I have given in my post, which you can find from the description. Scroll down a little bit to find the different installers that we have for the driver. So depending on the system that you are currently using, whether it be Windows, Mac or Linux, you need to select the appropriate driver. Here I'm using Mac, so I'll download the driver for the Mac. Once I've downloaded, I can just install it in the regular fashion. And again, we'll have to reboot the system. Taking off the Sonoff should be a pretty easy process. Just remove it from the box that it came with. 
remove these flaps on the two sides and to access the PCB of the Sonoff just gently press down here a little bit with a small screwdriver just wedge it and give it a twist and that should let you access into the PCB now note here that I have already soldered uh, the pin headers one set vertically and another set horizontally and the Sonoff that you buy from the market which is either say eBay or Amazon doesn't come with these pins soldered so the one on the right that I'm showing here is the one the PCB that we would get when you buy from uh, eBay or Amazon what I've done is I have soldered the pin headers onto these open uh, pins as you can see over here and this can be used for uh, uploading your code or connecting your sensors etc so when, the, when you buy from us we already sell with these pins soldered which makes your life a lot easier now before you upload the code do note that uh, you should test these sonoffs based on the original uh, method which is the Sonoff app. The detailed instructions are available in these uh, booklets. So you test these as per the original software just so that you're sure that your Sonoff is working. That avoids the possibility of having to work with a non-working Sonoff and later get worried about it. Alright so next let's connect all the wires together and start uploading. Okay, so now let's connect the USB TTL adapter. So we take it and pick up the jumper cables. And as you can see over here, we have a set of five pins. The one on top is a 3.3 volt. We have the transmit pin, receive, ground, and the five volt pin. Now to note here that uh, the Sonoff, the processor in the Sonoff operates at 3.3 volt and hence we will use the 3.3 volt pin and leave the 5 volt pin open. We won't use it. Alright, so let's now start connecting it. So we first connect the 3.3 volt followed by the transmit pin, the receive and finally the ground okay so the other end of uh, the cable we need to connect to the Sonoff now the Sonoff PCB just a quick uh, overview we have the LED on top we have the reset button we have set of five pins which are soldered across here vertically and two pins soldered here horizontally now on, on the markings of these five pins I have already given the blog post but just to have a quick uh, review the one next to uh, the one be just below the relay pin relay button is the 3.3 volt uh, pin and then just below that we have RX which is receive then we have transmit we have ground and the GPIO 14 the pin right next to the relay is ground and the one next to it is 3.3 volt. Now let's connect the jumper cable. So we have a 3.3 volt pin here and that needs to go into the 3.3 volt on the Sonoff, the one just below the relay. We then have the DX pin which needs to go to Rx on the Sonoff. Then we have the Rx pin, which needs to go to the Tx on the Sonoff. And then we have the ground, which goes to the ground on the Sonoff. All right, so now we have made our connections. Now let's upload the code. Okay. Now in order to upload the code, we need to first bring the Sonoff into the flash mode. 
okay so now here is the reset pin and when you are powering up the zone off you need to hold down the reset pin and this is a little bit tricky so i'll show you here how i'm going to power up the zone off into flash mode so on my left hand i have the reset pin and i'm going to hold it down and then I put the USB into my system keeping the pin held down and then release it now it would have entered the flash mode the system first you have to select the port go to tools menu port and you'll find your port listed there now in case of windows you would have a com port which is com6 or com9 etc here it's mac and then i'm selecting this once the port is selected click on verify to compile the code once it successfully compiles click on upload Here you can see that it's starting to upload and you can see the progress bar. If you expand it a little bit, you can see how much percentage is complete. All right, it's done. So now the uploading has been complete. Now you can plug in your devices or your sensors to sound off and test the circuit. I hope this video has been useful in your journey to home automation. See you in the next video.